Runergy is the third largest PV cell manufacturer in the world. This year, about nine gigawatts of module capacity and 13 gigawatts of cell capacity. So the 400 watt panel you have on the market now. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about the specs for that? Perfect, so can you tell me a little bit about the warranty of the panel? Hey everyone, Allie from Solar Search here. We are currently at the RE Plus Southeast Convention in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm here with Mark from Hyperion. So welcome, Mark. Hi. Thanks, Allie. Yeah, great to have you here. Great to meet you. Thanks for joining us on the channel. Uh, so we kind of wanted just to do this interview with the Solar Search audience to introduce them to Hyperion and to you and find out what you have to offer for us. Of course. Yeah, so how about let's just dive right in. Can you tell me a little bit about your, your latest panel? Of course. So to help contextualize the companies, Runergy is the parent company. So I work for both Runergy and Hyperion Solar. So Runergy is a parent company based out of China. Hyperion is our module brand. So we, we manufacture modules in Thailand. Uh, so Runergy is the third largest PV cell manufacturer in the world. And so over the past decade, we have grown substantially and has been a great adventure for us. Uh, so the, the, the various module manufacturers that buy our cells Trina, Jinko, Longi, Canadian Solar. So a very well-known, Runergy is very well-known, at least in the, in the uh, module manufacturing space. Yeah. But Hyperion is a lesser known brand. We actually, we actually entered the market in about 2020 because we realized that there was a need for modules. That there was a need for not only uh, you know, premium modules, but also a complete supply chain, which is what Runergy and Hyperion Solar both have. So all the way from ports, through to the, the module assembly, uh, having an, a completely integrated supply chain has made the process for us a lot easier. Uh, so we manufacture our modules in Thailand. So you're looking at about this year, about nine gigawatts of module capacity and 13 gigawatts of cell capacity. Wow, that's impressive. Yes. Yeah. So in terms of Runergy, you mentioned a couple of brands that we've heard of before. Uh, so what brought Runergy into the Hyperion space? What what brought them into that? So it's interesting because a lot of people ask us, why did you enter the US market? Why modules? Why now? And what we've done over the past decade is collect all of this knowledge, all of these ideas on how to maximize capacities, efficiencies, even lower degradation when it comes to cells and module assembly. Um, and we, what we're trying to do is take that knowledge and spread that with other module manufacturers and just the, the, the PV space at large. So. Interestingly enough, we, we've been in the United States for years now just in the form of other people's modules. And frankly, it's much easier for a cell manufacturer to go down and to assemble modules than it is for a module manufacturer to go up and, and start producing cells. Right. So it was, a, it was a pretty easy decision for us. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Okay, and then in terms of the 400 watt panel you have on the market now, yes. can you tell me a little bit about the specs for that? Sure, so you're looking at all black, 400 watt, about 21, 21.3% efficiencies. Okay. Uh, degradation about 0.45%. First year is 2%, okay. but again, 0.45% after year one. Mm -hmm. um, and this is for our P-type mono perk, but in Q3, Q4 this year, we're actually coming out with N-type Topcon. Now, N-type Topcon is next level, so that whole seven gigawatts of capacity I was mentioning regard with, with our Thailand facility, mm -hmm. that's all gonna be N-type Topcon. Okay. The other two, uh, two gigawatts are for our mono perk. Okay. And so, you look at, again, 400 watt is about the main power class right now for resi on the residential side, mm -hmm. but the N-type will bump that up to 420. It will also take the degradation, that 2% yearly degradation, it'll take it down to 1% yearly, or, or first year degradation, I should okay. say. Yeah. And then after that, after year one, instead of 0.45%, you're down to 0.4% degradation. So now, not only do you get better efficiencies, which it'll be, it'll be about 22, over 22% 22 efficiencies, not only getting lower degradation, you're getting more power in the same dimension of, of module. Okay, so we're replacing the current model 
with the new models? Is um, that what's happening? So I wouldn't say replacing, we're adding to, because okay. there are several projects that might need replacement panels. For example, you might be on a roof, somehow it, uh, something goes wrong, you need replacements. So we will still be manufacturing two gigawatts okay. of our mono perk, but we're just upgrading to, to newer technology. And we're also, of course, doing that in, in the form of our cells as well in Thailand, mm -hmm. as well as module assembly here in the United States. Okay. So you have a facu uh, facility in the United States. And so in Q, we do have we do have a facility. We can't mention exactly where the facility is going to be. You can't even tell us Solar Surge. Oh, I can say it's going to be in the southeast. Okay. Uh, we're looking at about well, to be continued on the exact uh, on the exact capacities there. All right, I'll uh, work on him after this yes. video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're, but it, it's, it's exciting news. It's going to be coming in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned. Okay, awesome. And then, so basically the idea is we'll just have different options for the panels once, once the next one comes out in Q3, Q4. Exactly right, okay. exactly right. And since, since we're, we're coming out with seven gigawatts of N-type Topcon, because mm -hmm. a lot of people are asking, well, what about the, the prices between our mono perk and our new N-type Topcon? Is it gonna be too substantial for us to, to make it worth our while? Right. And because we're producing so much of the N-type Topcon, uh, it's going to be comparable in terms of price points. A slight premium, but, but the, the uh, efficiencies and the power and the lower degradation is going to be worth it. Okay. So would you consider Hyperion to be a premium panel? Uh, for sure. In terms of our product, we're yeah. a premium panel. But in terms of the price point, it's very, very competitive. It's okay. com as, as competitive as anybody out there. All right. I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. If you're a solar sales professional out there, or maybe you're considering starting a career in solar sales coming in from another industry, then I'd like to invite you to Solar Surge University. Solar Surge University is the premier online training program for aspiring solar sales professionals who, who really want to be professionals. Learn how to sell solar at an expert level with a consultative approach. It's the same approach that I use and that we use here at Solar Surge to do over $700,000 a month in solar sales virtually with no advertising budget. So if you'd like to separate yourself from the pack of undereducated, underperforming solar salespeople, check out Solar Surge University, where you can learn all of our expert techniques and for a limited time, have access to my live sales call recordings with some of my live clients. So again, we invite you to check out Solar Surge University. The link will be below here. And we're also offering a 14 day no risk money back guarantee. Perfect. So can you tell me a little bit about the warranty of the panel? So our general warranty is 12 year product and 35 year performance. Okay. However, with certain customers will actually upgrade that to a 25 year product and 30 year performance. Wow. That's very impressive. Yes. Okay. And then so the 30 year performance is for the degradation rate that you had mentioned before? Correct. Okay, perfect. Can you tell us one more time what that is? The, the degradation? Yeah. So with, with the mono perk, you're looking at 2% degradation year one, mm -hmm. and then 0.45% every year after that. Up with to the 30 years. Right. And, okay. and with the N-type Topcon, that's only, it should be only be 1% degradation year one, and then 0.4% degradation every year after. Great. So can you tell me a little bit about why is the degradation rate important in, in the panel? Well, degradation is very important to the panel because you want the panel to last as efficiently as possible for as long as possible. And just like anything else, any other commodity, anything you have, it will degrade over time, regardless of the product. So when it comes to degradation, this is a long-term commitment with solar. You're talking about 30-year uh, uh, performance. That is a long time. So you want to slow that degradation down as much as possible. So even though that 1% difference in year one and that 0.05% after year one sounds small, if you add that up over time, it's pretty substantial. And every little bit helps, especially when it comes to your utility bill. Okay, perfect. That's great to know. And then, for example, we are currently installing the Hyperion panel, the 400 watt panel in Florida, Texas, and about 10 other states. So if our customers would like a quote, they can reach out to us on that. But in regards to those, those higher temperature states, how does the panel perform in those states? It performs excellently. It, as good as any of the modules that are on the market right now that are at the, at the height of its premium. Again, we, we produce the cells for a lot of the module brands in the market space. 
We're just, again, taking those cells and putting them into our own modules. So it's, it's the, the degradation shouldn't change, or, and even the efficiencies shouldn't really change drastically uh, with those warmer or, or even cooler temperatures. Now, when it comes to snow, when it comes to certain weather conditions, that's another story. Uh, but but very efficiently when it comes to warm weather. Perfect. Okay. And then with regards to weather, now that now that you brought up the snow factor, how does it perform in terms of wind ratings and things like that? Yeah. So when it comes to wind ratings, it's uh, tw 2,500 pascal, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And 5,400 pascal when it comes to snow load. Mm -hmm. um, so I think you're you're looking at about I think a, a, a third degree um, um, hurricane. Okay. Right. So when all the trees are ripped out, when the shingles are gone, the panels are likely still there. Right. right. You can pretty much drive a truck, a, 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 a vehicle, over these modules, which I don't think anyone's going to do anytime soon. I don't think they'll so, want to do that. Yeah. So we we, we, we have, in fact, uh, there are several testing agencies that require certain standards mm -hmm. for modules. Not only do we pass the, those particular standards, but we times that by three. So all of our standards are, are when it comes to our like, various documents that we send to customers like you, um, all of those performance standards are, mat are times by three because we want to make sure that our modules work and not only work, work better than pretty much anybody else in the space. Perfect. All right, great. Well, thanks so much, Mark, for joining us today. Is there anything else that you'd like the Solar Search audience to know about Hyperion? Well, if you'd like to get more information about us, of course, you can also go to hyperion-usa.com. And we'd, be, we'd love to talk. We have a lot of videos. We have, inf we have uh, uh, documentations on there. We have some of our data sheets on our website, as I'm sure, as well as yours. So let's just keep the conversation going and continue to, uh, to help change the world with, with renewable energy together. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you again. Thank you, Allie. Great to have you. And thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next time.